Today I am going to test a very different kind of laser engraver, the LaserPecker L1 Pro, together with an optional upgrade, the autofocusing stand. Inside the L1 Pro basic package you get a measuring ruler which is used for focusing, some samples of brown paper for engraving, power supply, a laser diode, safety glasses, and a simple tripod stand. This engraver has a diode with a power output of 1.5 watts. The machine has no moving parts. It works by moving the laser beam instead of the laser head, which is more common with laser engravers. L1 Pro suit package will get you an autofocusing stand. This stand is made from aluminium, has a very decent weight and a very premium feel. LaserPecker is controlled with a smartphone via Bluetooth connection. The interface is simple, and it comes with many preloaded graphics. Autofocusing is done by putting the calibration sheet on the engraving surface. The pattern can be positioned by marking the center point, or by showing the outline like I used here. Before engraving starts, the file is transferred to the laser through Bluetooth connection. The engraving can be completed even if the connection is lost. Then you choose the material preset or adjust the settings yourself, and you can quickly start engraving. You can power this engraver from a good power bank. I engraved this beautiful horse which was in the preset library. The engraving took 21 minutes, and it drained only 2% of this big power bank's battery. You can also laser engrave your finger drawings, which is a very cool feature. The machine also has a preset for engraving fruit peels. Let's try to make something funny. Another feature that is very cool is the ability to engrave photos taken with your smartphone. You can apply a lot of filters and you can add custom text. And you can also erase the unwanted parts of the photo. It took 14 minutes to engrave this photo. The engraved result is very dark and has a great contrast. You can engrave a lot of stuff with this laser. 
Here is a few examples. But the laser is not powerful enough to engrave anodized aluminium. Engraving leather is a great idea for making personalized and long-lasting gifts. Leather engravings come out very nice. The smartphone app also supports generating QR codes. The autofocusing stand can also be manually controlled. The focus distance of the laser is 20 centimeters, which is the length of the supplied ruler. Engravings on plywood come out very deep and have great contrast. Let's try to cut something out of a masking tape. You can use this process to make stencils for spraying paint. Although the finger drawings sometimes don't engrave entirely, I think it is a minor software bug and this will be fixed eventually. Then I tried to cut 3mm thick poplar plywood. I set the maximum power in 50 passes which is the maximum amount. It took 20 minutes but it did not manage to cut through. This machine is not suitable for cutting plywood, but it is not advertised as a laser cutter anyway. Now for this final test, let's engrave a photo on my wooden guitar amplifier. Using the regular stand, the laser head can be pointed sideways. This way, you can even engrave on large objects like wooden benches, tables, and much more. Photo will be 10 centimeters high, which is maximum size this machine can produce. This mini laser engraver is great for having some fun engraving and making unique gifts. Out of all the machines I have tested, it is the easiest machine to use. The smartphone application is very easy to use, has a lot of material presets, and requires just a little bit of experimenting to get the settings just right. Anyone can start engraving in minutes. It makes a perfect gift for anyone that likes crafts and loves to make unique and customized projects. You can find the purchase link in the video description below.